It's a beautiful Sunday in Beverly Hills, and I've been given the keys to a $340,000 Rolls Royce. The funny part is, that's the norm here. Take a stroll down Rodeo Drive, and you'd be hard-pressed not to see at least 10 Rolls Royces within an hour. They're as common as Priuses are in San Francisco, yet every time I see one, my insides tickle with joy. The Wraith has always been my favorite Rolls ever since it came out. With its gorgeous looks, powerful engine, elegant interior, and starlit headliner, what's not to like about it? Well, other than the price, but we're in Beverly Hills where looking at prices is for peasants. A Rolls Royce is more than just a car. It makes a statement. It's a way of life. It's the ultimate expression of luxury and a sign that you've truly made it. Or that you've stretched your finances to get a 2,500 mile a year lease just to flex on your neighbors, but. <laughs> Under the expansive bonnet lies a 6.6 .6 liter turbocharged V12, pumping out 624 horsepower and 605 pound feet of torque. Now, why a V12? Well, because the power delivery of a V12 is as smooth and luxurious as can be. The acceleration of the Wraith is staggering. Floor it, wait a bit, and you're thrusted forward in the most drama-free manner that exists on this planet. Oh yes, Charles, go a bit faster, go a bit faster. And then all of a sudden, you're at 100 miles per hour. Zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. May I remind you that the Wraith weighs 5,300 pounds. The engine is coupled to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission that is silky smooth. It's hard to describe the experience of driving a Rolls Royce. It's kind of like a semi-melted piece of butter sliding down a glass ramp. The Wraith has the sportiest suspension of any other Rolls, although that's not saying much. It rides over bumps like they seemingly don't even exist, yet the driving dynamics are somewhat impressive for a vehicle of this size. This is by no means a capable two-door sports car. It's not an S63 AMG, nothing like that. Its ride quality is much more elegant, sophisticated, and it almost laughs at people trying to drive aggressively. The Wraith is so easy to drive, you can steer it with one finger. And it's so quiet in here, you can hear your own thoughts. Ugh, what watch should I buy today? A new Audemars Piguet or a Patek Philippe? And what brand of wine should I tell my butler to fetch for the dinner party tonight? I imagine those are the thoughts of rich people, I don't really know. Instead of getting a massage or meditating, all you have to do is drive your Rolls Royce around. Its ride quality and experience behind the wheel is something that no other auto manufacturer has been able to capture. Yes, the Ghost and the Wraith share the same chassis as the BMW 7 Series. It has a BMW engine and the iDrive from BMW. But one minute behind the wheel of a Rolls Royce and you understand why the brand has been so successful. Sure, it has an incredible image and brand recognition, but that doesn't just come from nowhere. That comes from decades and decades of success. Many people think Rolls Royces have spectacular materials, the fit and finish is top notch, but lack any sort of modern day technology. And while the materials are simply brilliant, check this out. The eight-speed ZF automatic transmission actually communicates with satellites in space. Well, as the GPS monitors the road ahead for changes in speed limits and curves, the transmission can prepare itself for downshifts and upshifts in order to give you the most relaxing driving experience possible. Or how about the speaker system? Sure, it has 18 speakers that produce brilliant sounds with nice clarity and bass. The system is constantly monitoring every square inch of the car's interior to eliminate spots that are too loud or those that are too quiet in order for your ears to feel luxurious too. The seats are extraordinarily comfortable. They're also heated and cooled. The funny part is the cooled seats are actually an expensive $2,650 option. My favorite option has to be the Starlight Headliner. This specific car doesn't actually feature that, probably because it costs $14,700. Would you like it to look exactly like the sky did from a certain angle the night you and your wife were married? <laughs> That's possible. That's the level of customization you're able to achieve when buying and ordering a Rolls Royce. In fact, 85% of Wraiths went through Rolls Royce's bespoke program to make it fully customized to your liking. The headliner itself can take between nine and 17 hours to manufacture. When you take that into consideration, you add in the thousands of fiber optic cables. Nope, I still don't see how it costs $14,700, but 
it looks really nice and in my opinion is a mandatory option on the Wraith. Another one of my favorite options has to be the Canadel wood paneling. Inspired by luxurious super yachts, the Canadel open poured wood has an amazing feel to it and it'll set you back $13,250. Okay, this has to be the craziest option. While it's not the most expensive, it might be the most pointless. The key itself is gorgeous, but would you like a presentation box for your key? That's right, a box to place your key in. That'll cost you $925. Funny enough, while the entire driving experience of the Wraith is incredibly quiet, the lock and unlock button is incredibly loud. The noise is almost like a mating call to get other jealous people around staring at the car to watch you walk in. All right, so how about a sunroof for people who don't wanna spend money on the starlit headliner and would rather see the actual stars instead of this black roof? Well, that'll set you back $8,600. Now we get to the most important options. What color or material choice would you like for the Spirit of Ecstasy emblem on the hood. It comes standard in a silverish finish. That's a no cost option. But what if you want it in gold? Well, they don't have a solid gold option from the factory, although I'm sure if you wanna pay enough, you can get a 24 karat gold emblem, but just gold plating will set you back just over $10,000. All right, how about a transparent illuminated crystal Spirit of Ecstasy logo? $7,800. The Spirit of Ecstasy actually has a funny origin. It was originally created for Lord Montague in 1905 by famous sculptor Charles Sykes. The emblem was created using the model Eleanor Thornton, who actually happened to be having an affair with Lord Montague at the time. The emblem represented the secret behind their affair. So that's right, the emblem's origin is about cheating on your wife. What? Now, not exactly. Lord Montague wanted an emblem on his Rolls Royce that was different than everyone else to differentiate his Rolls from the rest of the pack. Well, everyone enjoyed the design and started sticking that emblem on their car as well. Rolls Royce didn't really enjoy that people were sticking hood ornaments on their car, especially with meanings such as that, so they restyled the emblem and came up with a new meaning. And thus, the spirit of ecstasy was born. But the coolest part of the emblem is that it moves. When you lock the car, the ecstasy logo logo drops down, flips upside down, moves up, and hides away. That way, people can't steal your $10,000 emblem. But what happens if you leave your car unlocked? Someone comes by and tries to pull it off. Well, Rolls-Royce is smarter than that, and the spirit of ecstasy drops down yet again out of reach. All right, let's pull over and check out the room in the back, shall we? For a car that looks this good, and for rear seats that visually look small, I have tons of leg room. I'm sitting behind myself. I was not that close to the steering wheel. I'm five foot 11 and I still have a good six, seven inches of clearance between my knees and the front of the seat. In terms of headroom, I still have a couple inches as well. Let's open this up. We've got a compartment for storing champagne or money. We've also got different climate zones for the left and right side of the rear and luxurious metal rods to open and close the air vents. Because the Wraith is the sportiest of all Rolls Royces, I thought, why not take it from Beverly Hills and bring it out into the Malibu Canyons to see if it's any good whatsoever around turns. The visibility in the Wraith is amazing. Usually in larger cars, there's big blind spots and it's scary to change lanes, but not so in this vehicle. You look over your shoulder in this massive expansive window. Note, we don't have a B pillar right in the middle, so you have a better view. The rear window is massive as well. Really, there are no blind spots in the Wraith. All right, how about passing power? Mash the gas. Whoa, 624 horsepower is a lot, even in a car this large. The Wraith is honestly both an ultimate daily driver and a car that's fantastic for long road trips. The only issue I could see is it's so relaxing, you might fall asleep. A very distinct feature of all Rolls Royces is their use of rear hinge doors. Instead of opening a door the normal way, climbing behind it with the rear hinge doors, you simply open it up like this and climb in very easily. Rolls Royce likes to call these coach doors, although you and I know them as suicide doors. I can see why Rolls doesn't call them that though. Now with a normal door, if the latch were to break and pop open because of the direction it opens, the wind on the freeway, if you're moving fast, would cause the door to close. But with suicide doors, the second the latch malfunctions and the wind catches the door, it's going to rip it this way. 
Now, if you happen to be leaning on the door at the time, and because most old cars didn't have seat belts, well, the end results wouldn't be pretty. You'd likely fall out to your demise. While Rolls-Royce is all about its magnificent driving, or in most cases, shall we say, riding experience, we can't overlook the fact that it is drop-dead gorgeous. Now, Rolls-Royce has proportioned the Wraith with a roofline that is exactly twice as tall as the wheels are. The roofline then swoops down into its rounded rear end, somehow both looking sleek and leaving room for rear passengers as well. The front grille is massive and imposing. The car just looks elegant as it rolls down the street. No pun intended. It truly does look every bit as expensive as it is. Let's open the trunk here. Automatically opens. We've got 13 cubic feet of space back here, which is two and a half cubic feet more than you get in an S-Class Coupe. So I guess you could say it's practical. There are two trim options for the Wraith. The standard Wraith, as we have here, and the Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. Now, the Black Badge is the sportier, edgier version of the Wraith. We have more torque, 642 pound-feet to be exact, carbon composite wheels, the Spirit of Ecstasy logo is in black chrome instead of the options available to you, there's carbon fiber inlays in the interior, bolder options, but it'll set you back $47,000 more. So is it worth it? Well, to some, spending $300,000 on their Rolls-Royce Wraith is pocket change. To others, a 15% increase in price is a massive difference. So to each their own. Another crazy feature of Rolls Royces are their center caps. These center caps are actually independent from the wheels and weighted so that when you drive along, instead of the Rolls Royce emblem spinning with the wheel, it actually stays perfectly upright. Just in case, you know, you didn't know it was a Rolls Royce. Now you do, even when it's moving. The Wraith's interior is a marvelous combination of analog and digital. Scroll over to Office. Now, what is Office? Click the Spirit of Ecstasy dial here to enter that screen, and the Office turns out it's just showing you your messages, but you can also take notes and voice memos so you can be more efficient when out on the road. Now, scroll over to Vehicle Info. Note that it is the shape of a Rolls-Royce grille. Check this out. Vehicle status. Scroll down to see if any services are required. As you scroll through the options, note the difference in graphics. This is highlighting the engine, then the brakes are highlighted, then just the front pads, just the rear pads. Click a button right here, and boom, this beautiful piece of wood veneer covers it up. I can't imagine how many hours went into developing the feel of each button. The climate control, for instance, just twisting this knob has such a pleasing feel to it. The climate control pushers have a sturdy feel to them, and the iDrive knob, oh, I feel like I could play with that all day. The dash itself has three different analog dials, one on the left for power reserve. Note it is not RPMs, it's telling you how much power you have left. In the center, we have a speedometer that goes up to 160 miles an hour. Now the top speed of the Wraith is 155, so that's perfect. I love the design of the needle. We've got a nice black needle that widens at the end and has a beautiful orange color to it, kind of like the hand of a watch. Below the analog instrument cluster is a digital one, letting me know that I really need gas soon, how many miles are on the car, and what temperature it is outside. To put the car in gear, we've got this lever here that feels really nice. We've got light controls on the side that feel like you're clicking the safety on and off of a weapon. To the left of that, we also have collision avoidance and lane keep assist buttons. Let's throw the car in reverse. You can see we have a tremendously large backup camera, really good graphics, and a 360 degree view camera. Click this button here, and now we have a 360 degree aerial view of the Wraith. You can even control the brightness of the exterior environment in your backup camera. We also have a massive glove box. It's actually so big, it's useful. There's only one thing left to do. Perfect. Well, now it is time to see what the Rolls-Royce Wraith is actually like to drive out in the canyons. Now, of course, this is a Rolls-Royce. It's all about luxury and comfort, but with a 624 horsepower turbocharged V12, sportier suspension and two doors, it also happens to be rear wheel drive. Let's see what it's like. We are out in the Malibu canyons with the Rolls-Royce Wraith. 
I just wanted to say special thanks to Nick, my friend from CarPage, for providing this vehicle for me. I've actually got my link in the description below to the CarPage website where I've got my profile with all my cars, even the first car I ever had. Go ahead and check that out. If you enjoy the site, enjoy interacting with thousands of other enthusiasts, create a profile, post some pictures. Now on to the rest of the video. <laughs> the acceleration truly is staggering. Let's test out the brakes. Wow, that actually stops the vehicle quite nicely. Now, from a practicality standpoint, the Rolls-Royce does suffer in the fact that it is only rear-wheel drive. If you wanted this in a more snowy climate, yes, you're not gonna be able to drive your Wraith with snow on the ground. But that's okay, because we are in sunny Southern California. With 624 horsepower, you can definitely get the rear end loose. It actually handles pretty well. Yes, the steering is super light, but the car does seem to want to go around corners, and the level of mechanical grip that it actually has is pretty impressive given the size of it and the tires it's equipped with. Now, if a sporty driving experience is something you're looking for, you're much better off in an S63 coupe than you are in a Wraith. You also save a good amount of money. But if you're looking for something that actually is decently fun to drive, this is the driver's Rolls Royce. With the Phantom, yeah, you're definitely best off with a driver, but the Wraith, it's fun. So can it do a burnout? Let's see. <laughs> yes, it can. So not only is the Rolls-Royce incredibly elegant, it's gorgeous on the outside, it's so luxurious on the inside, it's packed with technology, it's packed with the most quality materials you can find, the fit and finish is top notch, it's good on long road trips, it also doesn't feel too big and too intimidating to drive it around town. So you can easily take it to Christian Louboutin and get the newest, coolest shoes. Driving a Rolls-Royce Wraith gives me an incredible mix of emotions, ranging from feeling relaxed and serene, to happy and excited, to thrilled that it has 624 horsepower and rear wheel drive, and just feeling like a badass piloting a $340,000 two-door luxury tank. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this review. For me, the Wraith is the ultimate luxurious two-door. If you're new to the channel and you love the video, hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and click the little notification bell to the right of it to join the notification squad so you stay up to date on the latest and greatest Vehicle Virgins videos. I look forward to seeing you guys next video.